Finally. What a long day. I can't believe there's so much left to do. Hmm. Let me see. Preparations for midterms. Check. Book report for a literature class. Check. Science project. And done. Oh, before I forget, we need to start planning for the school festival. Okay. Wouldn't hurt to get some ideas down. Hmm. Let me see. I guess we can... Oh, who the heck calls people this late at night? Isn't it common courtesy to... Oh, it's them. <clears throat> hey, what's up? No, no, you didn't disturb me at all. I was just... Well, yeah, maybe a little bit. Don't worry about it, though. I sound tired. Yeah, today's just been pretty exhausting. No, it's okay. I've done all that I needed to do today. I've got time to listen. What's up? You wanted to check on me? You know we just saw each other this morning. Me? Tired of you? <laughs> no, I'm not. In fact, I really enjoy spending time together with you. And hey, thanks for showing me that place, by the way. Mm hmm I really enjoyed the date. Thanks for sharing that secret hiding spot. I know that it must have meant a lot to you. It being your parents' old secret place and all. I really appreciate it. You know, when you started to whip out that picnic blanket, I thought, who is this person and what did they do to the delinquent I know? Yeah, you got stuck in the janitor's closet with the uptight class present... Hey, I am not uptight. Well, <laughs> maybe a little. But hey, things happen for a reason, right? We wouldn't have gone out on that date if all that didn't happen. And do you know what the best part was? I got to know you more. Listening to what you had gone through with your family all those years since you left really put a lot of things into perspective. Hey, what's wrong? You don't sound okay. Is everything all right? You want to meet up? Where? At the playground near the park? Um, yeah, sure. It's a bit chilly outside, though, so let me just grab a jacket, okay? I'll be there soon. Oh, where is that thing? Oh, shoot. I forgot it's still in the laundry. Guess I'd have to borrow my sister's. Hey, there you are. Sorry, it took a while. I had to borrow my sister's jacket and I had stuff to do before heading out. Came here as fast as I could, though. Does my sister know where I am? Um, no. Not really. She did ask where I was going, though. But I think she was too preoccupied to really press on the question. She had someone over. A classmate that she's tutoring, I think. I asked her to cover for me in case I don't make it to dinner tonight, so... I think I'm good. Did you wait long? It's really cold out here, and I have a feeling it's going to rain tonight. You've been here for over an hour? You were out here in the cold for that long. Is there something wrong? I could tell that you sounded upset over the phone. You know you can tell me anything. Oh. 
Your parents are fighting again. That's the reason why you're out here. I'm sorry. Hey, I'm glad you feel safe enough to tell me about this. It's very brave of you to finally show your vulnerable side to me. What? No, you're definitely not being a burden to me, especially in this situation. I am happy to be with you here tonight. So, don't ever think that, okay? Hey, look into my... Take my hand and look into my eyes. You are not wasting my time and you are not a burden. When I told you that day in the lake that I'd like to give this a shot, I meant that. That also means that I will be here for you and I am willing to listen to all of your stories. You don't have to be insecure about telling me your problems or anything that worries you. I'll always lend an ear. And, um, I hope you would be willing to listen to my stories, too. You will? Thanks. <laughs> that was nice. You feeling better? <laughs> you got what you came here for, so now you feel better. Uh-huh, okay, yeah. You better watch what you say because I won't hesitate to hightail it out of here. <laughs> of course I'm kidding. I did say that I'll be here. And I will stay until you feel well enough to go home. Hmm? You are? That's good. Oh, do you live close by? Would you like me to walk you home? Oh no, it's no problem at all. Besides, I'm curious to know where you live. I'm not trying to stalk you. Come on. So, this is your place. I'm surprised you live pretty close by. Guess we can hang out more then. Maybe someday you can come over to my place. The lights are out. Your parents must be asleep? Oh, I see. Your dad usually storms out of the house and your mom goes straight to bed after a fight. Sorry I asked. Are you sure you're gonna be okay tonight? You... You wanna invite me over? But your mom's asleep. Would it be okay if I came in without her knowing? Mm, okay. But, um, I can't stay long, though. People are gonna wonder where I've gone, and besides, I'm supposed to be home by ten. <laughs> surprise, surprise. The class president has a curfew. Yeah, I'm okay. It's... it's just, um... It's just a bit dark in here. I get really uncomfortable if I don't see anything in front of me. Can I, um... Hold your hand? Thank you. So, this is your room? <laughs> Nothing, it's just... It looks so... Well, you. Is that a banner of the school's basketball team? Didn't know you were a fan. Oh, your best friend's on the team. 
Uh-huh. You want to invite me to the game next week? Well, if your friend wouldn't mind, I'd love to. It's a date then. <laughs> Look at you. First it's the lake and now you're taking me to a basketball game. Don't make that face. I'm just teasing. Besides, we'll have plenty of time to be together. And maybe next time, I get to plan the date. Hey, why do you look so upset? Did I say something wrong? Hey, I may not have been on a lot of dates, but I'm great at planning them, okay? I promise, it's gonna be a lot of fun. You wanna... talk? Okay. Shall we sit on the bed? What's wrong? You look like you're about to tell me bad news. Is everything okay? What? L leaving? You're leaving? But... We just started seeing each other, and I... I don't understand. Oh, it's that bad, huh? Your parents are planning on filing a divorce, and... Once it gets through, you plan on staying with your mom out of town. No, no, I'm, I'm not mad. I just feel... Well... Shocked. <laughs> it's all so sudden, and I feel like you just moved here. So, what does that mean for us? You're not sure either. Well, that makes two of us. Hmm? Do I regret going out with you? No. No, never. Don't you ever think that, okay? Look, it's been a hard year for you and your family, and I can't even think about what you've been through all these years for it to come to this. And I'm not going to make you choose between me and your parents. It's not my place to do that. Hey, um... Can I stay here for a while? I feel like we should savor every moment that we can now. Yeah, I should be good for a few hours. If not, well, I'll just sneak into my house. <laughs> oh, wow. You are a bad influence on me. Would you look at that? It did rain. Guess now I have an excuse to get home late. Hmm? You feel tired? Oh, you want to lie down? Sure. Hmm. This is cozy. Hey, we're gonna be all right, I promise. Let's just make the best of the time that we have together, okay? Here, come close to me. <laughs> 